Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. Four videos now. This is kind of crazy. But yeah, this series is all about spirituality, metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to delve into something that I am literally coming to terms with now because I recently started vlogging my days, like videoing my daily life and the process of building a brand and a business and a music career. And through this process, I am having to get so comfortable with myself on camera without makeup as well and like in ridiculous clothes and stuff. And if you want to check out those vlogs, I will link them somewhere. But in the vlogs, like I talked about the insecurities that are coming up. So I wanted to come on here and film a full video about like learning to love yourself and accept your body as well, because there's just so much programming everywhere, literally everywhere that you look is programming us to dislike ourselves. And I'm just learning through even vlogging how important it is to accept ourselves for who we are, because I'm starting to understand, okay, I don't even know how to word this, but I'm starting to understand that, like, you came here to be you, but there's only you. <laughs> like, you only have you. There's only your body that you're in for this lifetime. So you can change it all you want, but, like, and you can try and change yourself all you want, but what you have is you always. So, like, the process of self-love and self-acceptance is the most important thing ever. <laughs> the most important. And we're obviously conditioned not to even walk that path, not to accept ourselves or anything like that. And there's just so many of us wandering around miserable with ourselves, like miserable about our bodies, about the way we look, about the way we feel you know even our emotions the way that we interact with people just every part of ourselves is scrutinized and judged by ourselves so I wanted to talk about the process of learning to love yourself and also learning to love your body because it's something that I'm slowly having to do now and I really just think it's so important for everybody to accept themselves and I know that there's a lot of ways to do this and a lot of things that you can do but and also it takes time and it's a process and everything but I'm just I want to put this message out here that you can do it and that it's possible and that you actually need to do it so doing things like mirror work where you sit in front of the mirror and you look at yourself or even filming yourself and putting it on camera like I've been doing, not to post anywhere, but to see yourself through the lens of somebody else, like to literally see yourself outside of yourself, if that makes any sense. Because when the camera is there and I'm sitting here holding the camera right now, I feel normal. But when I watch it back and I see myself, it's a whole different ball game like it's really weird because you see your little characteristics you see the way that you speak even the hand movements that you make like <laughs> you just see all of the weird little things that everybody else sees but you don't see so I really think sitting in front of the mirror and just kind of looking at yourself and just analyzing yourself and just like seeing the little ways that you move seeing the little like smirks on your face or your expressions like your facial expressions and I don't know just seeing all of those things because it helps you realize how many layers there are to yourself how multifaceted we are how just ugh, there's just so much more to yourself than you even see because you don't see yourself from an outside perspective like you're inside your body so unless you're looking in a mirror you don't see your body you can look down and in starting to see my little quirks and things at first it's made me so uncomfortable and so anxious and feeling like I'm not good enough and I realized like when you work through that and you keep going, and you keep seeing yourself on different days, you keep looking at yourself, you keep seeing all of your little quirks, and all of your characteristics, and your personality, you slowly start to just accept it, 
because it is what it is that's who I am kind of thing and it's like you can't actually change that you can't do anything about that because we're not just talking about a physical vessel we're talking about your personality like we're talking about the way you speak the way you move like just everything you know and I think once you start to accept those things you're less likely to want to change your body because you're then more capable and like open to accepting your body as well because you're accepting your weird little characteristics and stuff so I don't know it's just a revelation I'm having lately that I just want to put out there and maybe some of you will try it and just like sit in front of the mirror or something and just even just have a conversation with yourself out loud just sit in front of the mirror and literally talk to yourself and yes it will feel weird no it's not crazy like mental health um illnesses kind of thing are not as weird and crazy as people think we all have multiple personalities because we're all different versions of ourselves in different situations and environments and in front of different people we all have different versions of ourselves so it's not crazy you're just sitting there and getting to know yourself you know I always talk about spending time with yourself and being by yourself going within but one way to do that is literally to sit by yourself and have a conversation with yourself because you're literally communicating with yourself, you're hearing yourself, you're seeing your hand gestures, you're seeing, like, you're hearing the nuances in your voice, and the way that you speak and stuff, and just doing that helps you see who you are, and hear who you are, and then accept and embrace who you are, and it also helps you see the things that you like about yourself, the little weird things that you like about yourself, you know, so then you can start to accept all of it slowly but surely and of course it's a process I'm not saying this is going to happen on the first try but I just really recommend it because I always get asked these questions about how to love yourself and all of this kind of thing and I didn't really know how to put it into words because it's a journey and it's a mental process like it's in your mind but when you kind of see yourself from a human perspective and see just your day-to-day of how you move around and stuff it's actually really interesting and really eye-opening and helps you get comfortable in your own skin and I feel like that's the issue with a lot of us is that we're not comfortable in our vessels we're not comfortable in our own skin we're not comfortable in the way that our personality is and the little things that we do the way we communicate and stuff we feel insecure about those things so when you start to see them and you see them more often you begin to accept them because they're in your face all the time you know like you see them constantly and then it just becomes normal because you realize oh this is just who I am just like you're meeting a friend and when you first meet them you're learning how they are you're learning about them you're learning how they communicate and the things that make them laugh and those kind of things but when it's yourself if you do that with yourself you'll learn those things you know and it might take a bit of time and a few conversations with yourself but you'll learn those things and then it's just normal like you know what your friends are like it's normal because that's who they are that's the way that they are so you could do the same with yourself and it will become normal and you'll start to accept more things about you and you'll even find the things that you want to change you'll become aware of those things and you can then work towards changing those certain things about yourself too but for the most part you'll be able to accept and embrace all of the things about you all of the flaws all of the ups and the downs and the funny moments and stuff it's just really eye-opening so I recommend it even filming yourself might even be better just film yourself for like an hour while you're doing something you know or just have a conversation with yourself whatever works for you is completely up to you but I just wanted to put this message out there and hopefully it resonates with somebody and yeah it's just time for us to accept ourselves because like we don't really need to change as much as we think you know you don't need to change your body because it's literally a gift it's perfect as it is And yeah, of course, there's certain things about our personality and our responses and the way we communicate and stuff that might need to change. But it's not drastic to the point where you need to become a completely different person. Like, even when you progress and you grow and you change and evolve, you're still bringing certain parts of you with you, your body being one of them, you know. So 
yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps as well as watching on youtube i really appreciate you don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week now that i'm vlogging my days which is kind of crazy i keep uploading uh, uploading i keep upping my video amount but i'm really excited for this so i really appreciate you sticking by me and coming along this journey with me and don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music my phone number my social media my merch my crystal healing jewelry because this is my necklace that i'm wearing that's now stuck in my hair <laughs> but you can get yours on my etsy store if you want to purchase one and yes i will see you in the next video Bye. You could say I love you.